Hello, my name is Brent Rebell from CME CNC, and behind me we have an Acer P1283 projector for the Droplet SLA 3D printer. And today we are going to modify it by taking out the UV filter in front of the DLP bulb, and we are going to fix the zoom issue in the projector to make it work with your droplet. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is open up your projector box. Remove the protective bubble wrap or whatever that is, some kind of bubble packing. Um, this will have your remote in it, your manual, some drivers for your computer. Actually, I lie, the remote is in this pouch on the right hand side of the box. The projector will come in that little carrying pouch. And then on the right side of your box, you have a VGA cable and a power cable. So put those to the side. Just let me check if there's anything else. Nope. So, comes with a very nice carrying pouch. I don't know why you'd want one, considering it's staying stationary on your droplet. Regardless. And now we see our nice projector. So now we have the projector all wrapped up in some nice protective coating. We're going to open it and avoid the warranty. On the bottom of the projector there are six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to remove all of those screws now. Hey, because the screws are so far down, you can't really reach them with a standard um, screwdriver. It won't go all the way in. You want to use a longer screwdriver just for this operation. So now that we have all the screws removed, we can just begin to take the top off the projector. The top comes off over these hinges, and it's all kind of um, clipped on to the projector. Now, you want to be careful while taking the projector apart from the top, because there is going to be one remaining wire that you can see over there. You don't want to pull it off completely, or else you'll snap that wire. So. I didn't really feel like taking out that wire, so what I did instead is I put a little piece of tape over, and on the back I just have a little thing supporting this from falling over and ripping the wire apart. First things first, we want to orient ourselves with the inside of the projector. This is the lens assembly, this is the bulb, and the rest are just drivers and other things. But the two things we're going to focus on in this video is the lens projector and the bulb over there. So the lens, if you look at the top, if you remember what it looked like, there was a little knob on the top to adjust the focus of the lens. That knob actually corresponds with this knob. This is the zoom knob. So as I said before, the next thing we want to focus on is the bulb. We need to get out the UV assembly from this bulb. So it's not very difficult to take out the bulb. There is a screw right over here. And screw on this top. Now you're just able to um, pretty much pry it out. And now we have the bulb out and the bulb assembly out in my hands. So I'm going to move the projector so we can just focus on this bulb assembly. Okay, the bulb assembly is now on the table. Everything looks good from here. You can only go uphill from here, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to take the bulb assembly. And in the front there's a UV filter going to do. This UV filter happens to be on really tight. I 
Uh, as you're unscrewing it, you'll begin to notice that this piece of glass will fall out. You'll kind of want to hold it in like I am with my finger. So you can just dump it out like that. And then the filter is removed from your projector. And that's your UV filter right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the filter and we'll just put it in the same bowl that I've been putting all the parts in. And the two screw assemblies on the front, I'm just going to leave out for the time being, along with the screws. Just to show you what I'm doing. I uh, put all the UV filter assembly over here. Now we can see the bulb. Um, we do not really have to remove the color wheel. A lot of people said it's useful, and a lot of people said it's useless. So I'm going with the people who said it's useless, and we're not going to remove it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the screw out. So I am going to zoom in and grab a screwdriver from my right. So just grab this, pull that out. So what you're going to do is you'll still see this little screw hole where you took out the screw. The screw by default rotates here and here. What we're going to do is we're going to push it past that limit. If you saw, I kind of pushed it past. There's the screw hole. There it is. And it went past that limit. Now, the good thing about the way we took this apart is you'll still have the back cover on. You'll have never unattached this portion. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a focus test. And basically what a focus test is, is testing the focus and range of the projector. So we're going to need to hook up our projector. So let's go. Okay, now on this side, we're going to just plug in the projector. So before we turn on the projector, we're going to do a little bit of a modification. We're going to zoom in over here a little bit. And just to give you a sense of spatial awareness, the bulb is over here, the projector is a bit over here, the projector assembly itself. Right here, it's an end stop. Well, kind of. It's a uh, mechanical switch. But basically, it's an end stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of tape. And what this does is essentially lets the system know, hey, the door is closed. Uh, this is a door cl close switch. Oh, rip this piece of tape. And we're just going to press it so it's in the closed position, as you see. And I'll just press it a little bit harder. And we're good. Lastly, you'll notice... Um, the power switch will be blinking, that means it's ready to roll. So pretty much we'll hit the switch. And you hear and see, and you'll hear and see everything starting up. If you don't see anything starting up, that means your switch is off or your power is unplugged. It should be starting up. And you should be feeling some fan flow because the fan is located over there. So as you see, um, I'm currently being blinded by the projector. And the projector is showing an image. It's actually projecting it on here even though it kind of looks like a little hologram for some reason. So I have a blank piece of paper to kind of shield the projector from me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin walking towards the projector. And as I begin my walk towards the projector the image is going to become more and more crisp, more and more clear. So right now, I can actually make out the word language. And the camera's probably not catching it because there's a lot of color distortion right now. Now, this focal range is a bit farther than I want. If you notice, I'm standing um, pretty good distance from the projector right now. Um, Andy, also known as Guanu, told me it should be five inches. So what we're going to have to do is adjust the projector focus right now. And as always, adjusting the focus 
is done via the focus wheel and you pretty much jam your screwdriver in the focus wheel and adjust it that way and right now I'm looking at a pretty good focal length I'm seeing a nice crisp picture between my projector lens itself and the piece of paper I'm holding but it's a bit too close in my opinion this is probably four inches so I'll turn it to the right I'm standing facing the projector and the right is going to defo um, not defocus but rather um, zoom it outwards so I'm going to kind of set my goal as over here and I've achieved it so what I'm going to do is turn off the projector itself by pressing the button in the back and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off the projector by peeling that off so all good things have to come to an end right we had a good time we took apart the projector modified the zoom modified the UV filter got it focused learned a little bit about this projector in general now it's time to put it back together if you did this method with keeping the back on make sure to remember that the back is still very fragile and you're just going to put the projector on and in the front if you'll notice there's a little clip over here you will want to make sure that everything is clipped together properly And it looks good to me, so let's just go around the machine and snap everything together. Everything looks snapped together, right? Just flip it upside down. Remove the dolly. So now we have the six screws once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, if you forgot their locations. And we're just going to begin screwing things in and this part I'll speed up for you. I'm going to do one last final test, which is plugging the projector in correctly. Turning it on. The zoom wheel, by the way, will be useless since you don't have um, access to it. So my recommendation is taking a piece of tape, ripping that piece of tape, and just putting it over the zoom so you know not to touch it. And for one final focal test, I'll just move this. And perfect. I have a perfect image coming out on this piece of paper, and I'm ready to assemble my droplet. I'm